What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. Thank you. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today, gonna see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then hopefully she's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, I'm already overwhelmed, so let's go. Let's go. Liv, you kind of grew up in the area, like 40 miles away from the city. Were you ever coming to stores like this or Flight Club, ever trips to the city when you were young? No, I was so broke. I was okay. not. <laughs> not I even window not, shopping, not, though? No, okay. I mean, shopping, I mean, GSP. Garden was State Plaza. As far as I ventured, yeah. Garden State Plaza. So, Garden State Plaza, uh, it's like a flagship mall in this area. I Best remember, mall in this area. So, I remember like working at Finish Line in Long Island and all I would hear about is like us getting compared to Paramus and Garden State <laughs> Plaza. So, you were shopping for sneakers in that mall. Yeah, I mean, you know, I wasn't necessarily shopping for um, Louis Vuitton collabs right. or Off-White collabs. I was buying like, you know, Converse, mm -hmm. Vans, um, but yeah. I feel like I always kind of gravitated towards sneakers. I grew up with four older brothers. We were always roughhousing. I considered myself such a tomboy, so that's what I liked. I liked sneakers. I hated sandals or like anything that was too girly. I wore like, you know, boy sketchers for a long time. Um, but then I started shifting into Converse vans, and it wasn't until I got to WWE that I really started um, venturing out into Jordans. And then when you were backyard wrestling with the brothers, <laughs> what, what was it like sketching? What was like, you know? I was barefoot. <laughs> barefoot, no, okay, no sneaker. No sneakers, I thought maybe, you know, a technical shoe, running shoe, but No, it, okay. I think I did socks. Okay, socks. <laughs> Another thing that I notice is like creases. Not not a big fan of the crease. Yeah, like you know when I see like you know I don't want to do it, but you yeah. know when I see someone and they're pointing their toes, I'm just like ah. Yeah. Your crease. Yeah. Um. I think back actually in the beginning of my career when I would, you know, wait in line for the raffle so I can get the new releases, and I'd literally go and wrestle in them the really? next day and ruin them completely. Yeah. My closet is full of like. My beaters. my beaters now, yeah. you know, of shoes that I waited hours for, wore them a couple times just to wrestle, and now they're just like exclusively shelved. Do you remember what models you waited in line for? Yeah, yeah, I, I waited in line for everything. I remember like the Marvin, the Martian 7s. Okay. Like, I remember that waiting in line, the Oreo 4s, I remember waiting in line for that. Um, the new love Jordan ones, and that's like my favorite sneaker too. That black and yellow yeah. color combo is my you, you were absolute on the, favorite. You were on like the was it a Hummer or a Jeep in the black and yellow <laughs> yeah, ones? Yeah, 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 my, yeah, my Jeep. Um, yeah, so it matches my shoes. Yellow is like my favorite color right now, as you can there tell. You go. I'm like very into bright and yellow. And Oreo Four is one of my favorites. Are they? Like, yeah, love the Oreo Fours. I remember. I like, wore them forever. And they don't. They take a beating and they don't show that yeah, much because wear. Because they're black, so yeah. the crease you can't really tell. It kind of just blends. But um, those were like my go-to forever. I love was those. wrestling house shows in them, like three nights a week. Liv, I like that when we have wrestlers on the show, a lot of times they're like, oh, I saw this person wear these in the ring and that got me into sneakers. You had Lita as an inspiration. Yeah. What was it about her style that you really gravitated to? I spoke about it a little before. I just grew up, you know, such a tomboy. Um, I didn't feel like I related to like the beautiful blonde on TV. I related to Lita who would wrestle the boys and you know, I would wrestle my brother. She wore baggy pants and sneakers. And that's just something that I related to. I felt like when I watched her on TV, I felt like she could be my friend, Got you it. know? And yeah. that's kind of something that I hope to give my fans. I hope that they can see me and feel like I'm their bestie. And to, and to that point, do you think like young girls girls in the crowd are seeing like your sneaker choices. I know sometimes the crowd pans and like you see young girls in the crowd and it's like for you influencing them. And I know even on Twitter, every time you wear like a good pair of sneakers, there's so many replies from girls. Yeah, super important. I hope that if I influence them in any way, it's that they can be themselves. They can wear what they like. There's no like gender norm with like clothing. You know, sneakers aren't for boys anymore. You know, everyone wears sneakers. And so I hope little girls, when I do see them, you know, they have their little live shirts on and they do have their Jordans and their teardrops and yeah. um, 
they just want to show me that they support me. So it's so cool to see them kind of replicate my look sometimes. You know, I know another inspiration, John Cena. <laughs> Did you, do you remember Cena in his the little pumps? pumpy? Yeah, do you yeah. remember he had like his deep brown moment, you yeah. know? In the pump talk about like him wearing the pumps and things like that as you were a big fan. I mean, yeah, I, I love John Cena. I thought he was the shit. I had such a crush on him. Um he would pump his little sneakers. I would pump my sneakers. I didn't even have pumps. Okay. I just like the sketchers, you were just little, faking, yeah, faking my the sketchers. Tongue. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought he was amazing. And so he, I think, has been, whether I know it or not, maybe it's subconscious and influence on my career, you know, because he wore sneakers for a majority yeah. of his career. So I think maybe it's something that kind of like embedded in my mind. And Definitely. A reason why maybe I like to wear sneakers. We've had wrestlers on the show before and everyone wants to claim they started sneakers and wrestling. Have you seen the debates? Like, what do you do? You, what do you think about that? Everyone's uh, like, oh, we started sneakers. This person, this person. I don't know who started it. All I know that, you know, in 2014, the very first day that I arrived to the WWE Performance Center, I decided that I was gonna wear sneakers. And so, you know, that's what I did. I'm not saying that I was the first. Okay. But in 2014, before anyone else started wearing sneakers, look, I might have Worn sneakers. Okay, there you have it. Another another name in the ring for this great debate. Liv, we have to talk about day one pay per view. Day one pay per view. Like I said, we've had like some wrestlers on the show before. Mosh has done customs, but mm -hmm. these customs, knee high Jordan ones. They took two years to create. Yeah, it was been, it was a crazy. Talk yeah. us through that idea and how you know he's done. He did customs for you in the past, yeah. but these special, special. Yeah. Hair. So he's been amazing. I mean, we did customs back in Royal Rumble a couple years ago. I had pink hair, so we did a Jordan one, and all different panels were different custom color pink, and then I had a blue tongue, so we made the tongue blue. They were amazing. So I definitely wanted to like you know hit him up for a new pair, but I got a character change in like 2019. They wanted a full live makeover. So that meant like head to toe, no more Jordans. So I switched to boots and um, I was so uncomfortable because I've only wrestled in Jordans my whole entire career. I felt like less athletic, they were so heavy. I kind of just felt clunky. So I hit up Mosh and I was like, is there any way we can combine a Jordan and a boot? Yeah. And he was like, we can try. And we never talked about it again. And then literally like the week of day one, he's like, your shoes are ready. And I was like, what? Wow. The shoes? Yeah. Like, it's from two years ago. And so he made these Air Morgans that are knee high and they're light as a feather. It's like the perfect combo of boot aesthetic plus the leisure and comfort of, you know, a Jordan 1. Pretty so. crazy. You know, he, he designs a lot and he puts a spin on a lot yeah. of shoes, but those were like technical and everything. Speaking about wrestling and sneakers, what are your favorites to wrestle in? I know that you kind of went back to boots, but what are your favorites to wrestle in? What are not good to wrestle in? I think my favorites are Jordan 1. I mean, just across the board, favorite to wrestle in, favorite to wear. I feel like they're so diverse. You can wear them with a suit, a dress, a skirt, sweats, you know, and they go with everything. Um, but in the ring, I think they're my favorite because of the ankle support, you know, like, um, it really kind of, you know, if you choke up the laces and tie them all the way up, it's really good for your ankle. Um, before that, I was wrestling in the Oreos, the fours, with yeah. no ankle support, and they were okay. But as soon as I tried a Jordan 1, I was like, all right, these these are it. This is what I'm going to stick to. When's the last time you've been in, like, a sneaker store? Uh, I'm, like, embarrassed to say it. I don't even know. It's been years. Really? You know, I've, been, I've been focusing on, you know, being champs. And yeah. you know, now that we got that out the way, now, now we can now get back the into sneakers. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part, browse the shelves. This is the hard part. I know, it I is the hard oof. part. See what you're gonna take home. Everything. Let's try. Okay. What's up, champ? How can I help oh you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I haven't been sneaker shopping in forever, so I think it's going to be a lot. Um, so thank you so much. No problem, no problem. Um, I think we could start off with the Royals. Got you. Thank you so much. Um, it's my little sister's birthday this weekend. She's here with me. I want to get her something or she gave us trash. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> um, can I get her those um, black and white ones, please? No problem. Happy birthday, Miriam. <laughs> Do I want them? Mm. That's a good pick right there. I know. I think I'm going to do it. Can I have the um, off-whites? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And then I think these as well. Gotcha. Okay, I 
think I have to do some gifting now. May I please have these over here? Sure. Thank you. May I have those black, white, and gray? Ooh, then I think I will get these for myself. And then I'll take this last one, please. Thanks, oh, man. We did work today. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, good. Okay, so your total after tax is going to be eleven thousand five hundred seventy dollars and sixteen cents. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, you're all set. Thank you so much. No problem. Come again. Oh, I will. Maybe I won't. Actually, <laughs> maybe I won't. <laughs> So, Liv came through, told some great stories, got a bunch of new pickups. I Thanks did. so much for taking the time. Of course, thank you. And you know, maybe I might not have been the first sneakerhead in WWE, but I think I might be the best. Big haul. <laughs> a lot of new pickups. Congrats on everything. Thank you. You know where to find her. Friday nights, SmackDown on Fox, 8 p.m. Thanks again. Thank you. Let me help you with these. Oh my gosh, please. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs>